Hi, I'm John Gruz III, editor and publisher of the Home Gym Quarterly Magazine, the only magazine in the world written by and for home gym owners. Our YouTube channel is all about helping you achieve your fitness goals at home with workout tips, simple do-it-yourself projects that you can use to upgrade your home gym, and interviews with the industry professionals who serve the home gym community. Speaking of do-it-yourself projects, they're an important part of being a home gym owner because sometimes it just makes more sense to build something rather than buy it. And that's why I had so much fun interviewing my next guest. Stefan Hache is a Canadian home gym owner who runs the Barbell Sanctuary YouTube channel and he joined me today to talk about some of the DIY projects he's done. But what makes this interview even more special is we did it while Stefan was building a wall mounted storage rack for his weight place. Check it out. Hey Stefan, did I say your name correctly? Yeah, you did. How's okay, cool. I've been practicing. So, all right, man, I really appreciate the opportunity to come and do something I've never seen anybody do before. We're going to do an interview while you make something because, you know, DIY stuff is really popular right now. And uh, yeah. I thought this was a really cool thing that, you know, we kind of uh, put together last week. And uh, normally there's a whole lot more lead time into these, but it was really cool that we we're able to like come up with this idea like almost spur of the moment and you carve some time out for me. So I appreciate it, man. Okay, well, see, I build a lot of stuff, but I don't get too fancy. Like I find on YouTube, there's a lot of videos. They go they go too too much into detail. They have yeah. joiners and planers and you know what I mean? Like most people don't have that equipment and you watch these videos and it's like, oh, that'd be nice, but I don't have to have that stuff. So I always try to build stuff just simple, I don't care if it looks perfect, you know what I mean? Just easy, a drill, a saw, hammers, nails, just simple. So today, Yeah, because you're not going to sell it. You just you just need no, to use it. Yeah. No, it's for me. And plus, you know, a garage gym, like, to me, garage gyms have character. You know, it's yeah. about you. So when you build it and it look for me, I, I don't want my gym to look like a commercial gym. I want it to look a little bit grungy and, yeah. you know what I mean? That so, raw, yeah, I got you. Okay, so what yeah. are you making today? So what I'm making today is uh, I want to make some plate storage for uh, my pulley system. Okay, if you can see back here. Yeah, yeah. My plates always end up like my five pounds, two and a half pounds, ten pounds. They always end up just on the floor because you know I yeah. switch them out a lot just for accessory work. And this is still a garage, so it gets dusty in here. So I want to get everything off the ground. So I'm just yeah. gonna build. A uh, little plate system storage for those little plates back there. So when I'm changing the weights, it's nice and quick to do. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. yeah. All so right. and what's nice about building your own your own stuff is that you you do it to spec, right? Like right. I wouldn't be able to find something that fit exactly what I wanted. So I'll just show you. I made I drafted a quick plan. Okay. I always do that when I have ideas. I just kind of go off the cuff. So I just want a spot for tens, fives, and two and a halves. Okay. I'll drill it, and then I measure it. I want to be able to put four plates, so I know I'll need my pipe to be seven inches, and I need three of those. So that sounds like a plan. So you yeah. got all the materials already. Did you get everything from like the local, uh, what you call like Home Depot or Lowe's or something like that, or did you already have it all? Uh, I had most of it. The only thing I went and got, I was going to pick up a uh, wood dowel for okay. the to put the slide the plates on. But it's actually pretty expensive. Like I think a four foot piece was like 12 bucks or something okay. like that for wood. So I looked around and I went and got electrical conduit. Oh, nice, okay, yeah. So I got a 12 foot piece for I think $6. Yeah. And I'll actually use this later on. If you heat it up, you can bend it. Yeah. And I've been doing some uh, DIY uh, kettlebells and I'm okay. gonna use this as the handle. So multi-purpose oh yeah 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 those are surprisingly strong i mean I, I used to do some electrical work um you you'd be surprised how much weight those can handle and yeah. then of course people use them we actually have a, another video on our channel already where you use people you make a um a diy earthquake or bamboo bar so yeah they, oh. they hold a surprising amount of weight yeah i, I could see that oh yeah full length it does oh yeah i could oh yeah. Wood burn. <laughs> oh yeah yeah all right I'll so uh, so what's the first step First step, okay, well, here, let me just get the camera angle down. Okay. Let me know if you can see everything right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so first thing, I had a two by six, you can see it's actually pretty dirty. It was yeah. just added outside, so I'm gonna use that. I'm probably gonna spray paint the whole thing black after, so it doesn't matter what it looks like, but it seemed to be about the right size for what I needed, so. Okay. 
Okay, so first thing, you're gonna light your holes in the middle. So I'm just gonna mark off the center. So this is, it's a two by six, but it's about five and a quarter. Yeah, okay. I'll just go to two, two and a half is good enough. Now, did you cut that yourself or did you have it cut uh, at the supply? Um, I hate saying like the names because you know there's more than just Home Depot and Lowe's in the world. Yeah, I had I had this in the back. I, okay. I have a lot of wood that I actually I I cut my own firewood and I cut wood and bring it to a sawmill. So a lot of my wood, my lumber, I have myself. This is a purchased two by six. Okay. And I'm just using it because the length was already cut. Yeah. It was actually in the mud outside, so. But somebody watching this could just say, okay, these are the specs and they can go to your local home supply store and just say, hey, I need a two by six and I need it to cut to this length. Yeah, and yeah. whatever length that they need. Yeah. Like I'm only making three. Right. And I you know I can make a lot more if I wanted to, but right. this is this is all I need for the purpose of what I'm doing. Okay, all right. All right, so half, so the square is not long enough. So I'm going to paint it anyway, so I can mark it as much as I want. Yeah. So I'm just going to go do my center line. Okay. So now I got my center line and I'll tell you right now, my pipe I got, I could have got two inch pipe because I have Olympic plates. Okay. But I didn't want it to be too tight. I wanted to be able to just throw throw the plates on and off. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, it makes smaller. sense. So what size you know, condo so, did you get? You get like uh, one inch? Yeah, one inch. But okay. one it's I think it's one inch inside diameter. Like uh, okay. the little one inch plates don't fit on it. Okay. Which is fine. But it's also cost. Like a two inch pipe would have been double the price. Right, right. For, for what I need, this is fine. And I want it to be, I didn't want it too big because I'm going to use the rest for kettlebell. Got gotcha. you. Okay. okay. So next thing you're going to do is you got to figure out what you're going to put, what kind of plates are you going to put on. Everybody's okay. plates are different. So I'm going to grab the plates that I'm going to be putting on there to line it up. So a 10. Ten, a five, and a two and a half. You can see this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna, you know, I want it to look good when it's done. So I'm just gonna position them so that they get a nice spacing. Nice. Okay. And uh, I'm centering the line in the middle of the circle. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't have to be exact. Most of my builds, I don't spend too much time. It takes more time to just record, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to, yeah. Okay, now because my pipe is not the same size as the holes, if I just do, if I just drill in the middle, the plates will kind of sink down. Right. So I'm just gonna put the, the, the pipe where I want the plate to rest on top of it. Okay. And then you're gonna run your pencil around there and just, yeah, yeah. okay. And I'm just gonna mark it. I feel there. smart, because I guessed that right off. <laughs> well, you told me that you're starting to put a lot more DIY stuff on your own YouTube channel. Yeah. What was the first thing that you built? The first thing I built, um, I'll show you. The first thing I built, it's actually not on my YouTube channel because I, I did build a, another more complicated one. Okay. But I, I do deadlifts a couple times a week and okay. I was getting sick of, you know, I didn't have a deadlift jack and I didn't want to spend 100, 200 bucks for right. a lift jack. So same type of thing. I had a piece of uh, rough two by four outside. And I just drilled two holes with the hole saw. Yeah. And cut boom. an angle. And this actually works as a deadlift job. I've seen that before. Actually, there's, believe it or not, there's someone who is selling that, roughly that design, out of wood. 
and they I've reached seen that. yeah they reached out to me about you know and I was like well you know I'm not sure yeah yeah so this literally took five minutes and I yeah. still use it sometimes but then I have a video and I built what I call Lucille wow okay <laughs> I hear you so, so yeah it's a bit beefier but yeah. it's only one I think it's one two by four costs less than five dollars to make so nice okay next step I had measured what I needed, I needed seven inches of pipe for four plates. Okay. So I'm just gonna measure seven inches of pipe and mark it with a Sharpie. Okay. Okay. And the battery, batteries help. I will say, yeah. Either you're gonna have triceps out of this world. <laughs> Yeah. All right. So it's just going to get loud for a sec. So That's I'm cool. just going to cut this. There. So we need three of these. Okay. So I'm just going to do the next. And I'm not using the guide on the saw. I'm actually looking at where the blade is. Okay. On the, the marker. Okay. So that it's, it's exact. There you there go. We go. Okay. So now we got three, three bolts. Okay. The weights will sit on that. And I mean, the conduit is floppy when it's when it's long, but like, consider myself decently strong. I can't I can't flex yeah. that. You gotcha. Know, for the for the short amount that it's going to stick out, it's going to be fine. So. All right. So what you got next? Next, let's bring our piece of wood back. And I'm just going to put the, uh, I'm just going to put it back on, on the wood to complete the circle around. Because okay. I had only did a half circle a while ago. Okay. Just so I can see. Gotcha. There. Okay. So next. So uh, I feel like there's a hole saw coming. Yeah. It's All coming. right. Look at that. I'm two for two on my guessing. But you see, not to insult you, but the reason you're guessing is because it's simple, right? I just, yeah, I yeah, just, exactly. That's really what I like about these builds is that a lot of the stuff I see that you do, as you say, are things yeah. that are within reach for the average person. And oh. I mean, like if I if I didn't keep on interrupting you, you'd be done already. You know what? It's actually going faster because I'm not changing camera angles. Usually when I'm filming myself, oh. I'll do a different take. So this is actually going faster than usual. So Okay. All right. Not bad. I have an old hole saw kit. All right. Okay. So these you can get. They're pretty expensive, but you can get cheap ones. Like I think Walmart has a job bait brand or something. Yeah. 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 Um, if you're not using it often, it doesn't have to be like the highest dollar thing. Oh, exactly. And I think I've seen some at the dollar store. I don't know if you guys have, I'm sure you have some sort of dollar yeah. store there. But yeah. So anyways, so I have this one. And you'll see as I'm cutting, it's pretty dull. I need a new one. But anyway, it still works. And I tested out different holes for the pipe, right? Okay. Now, hole saw, I was going to use the one where the pipe could just go right in. Okay. It's loose. And the next size down is too tight. Okay. But and then I was going to use this and glue it, but I figured I don't feel like gluing it. Let's just use the smaller hole. Okay. And then uh, I have a file and I'll just gotcha. file it a little bit until it, oh, it squeezes in tight. And then you, you you hammer it in tight and it'll never, ever come I got out. You. If somebody wants to use the glue, the thing is that like, uh, especially if you use pipe glue, it's actually when you first put it on, it's actually a lubricant. Because when we were, when we use pipe glue, uh, you know, you want to put uh, you want to glue two pieces of pipe together. So you have a male and a female end, and you oh, put really? a bunch of glue on it, and it'll slide easier because you've got glue on it, and then That's the glue idea. and then the glue sets. So it's uh, I mean, you have to you know try it out or whatever because the thing you have to wonder about is whether or not that glue is going to last, right? Yeah. Because just yeah. think of it like the vibration every time you put um. What I like about what you did is every time you put that plate on there, it's going to vibrate just a little bit. And so that might weaken the bonds of the glue. Yeah. 
But another thing I thought about, uh, I'll just say it now so I don't forget is, because yeah. wood expands and contracts, you know, you could always like try to fiddle with it a little bit, like wet it, put it in there, then let it dry, and it'll just naturally hold it a little bit more. There's a different yeah. bunch of ways you can play around with it. That's a good idea. And I actually have um, like pipe, like plumbing, plumbing glue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh. like that plumber cement, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, maybe I'll try it. Maybe it'll-, it'll Yeah, spike. I mean, it, you just gotta look and see if it uh, adheres to wood. Cause that's the only thing, cause <clears throat> wood's porous is like, well, will it adhere to the wood? I don't know. I don't have a drill press. Obviously, okay. if you have a drill press, you want your holes to be perfectly straight. That'd be the best thing to use. I don't have one, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'll show you a little trick that I have. I just made a little uh, corner like this. Okay. Yeah. So when I'm drilling and I want to go straight, I kind of I put it on so that it. I got you. Yeah. It kind it kind of starts you off straight. Okay. But now, since I'm going to be putting this on the wall like this, and I know if I'm not going to be straight, I would prefer it to be angled up a little bit so yeah. the weights don't slide off. So I'm going to try to put it straight, and then I'm going to angle it a little bit upwards so that I know that I'm, if I'm leaning, I'm at least leaning in the right, right. direction. You know makes I mean? sense. Yeah, yeah, it makes sense. That about centered. Use my little jig there. There's one. There we go. All right. I'll just do the other two. <laughs> Set that off inside. It's always important to have some coffee. Got to caffeinate. So now the holes, like I said, are too small. Right, so you bust out the file. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go around in circles and kind of angle it back and forth. Right. I'm gonna make the opening a funnel so that I can bang it in. Okay. There. Now we got a rubber mallet. So you're just trying to get it so it's flush with the, like it's all with the way the wood, through basically? So maximum support, yeah. Okay, okay. There we go. Boom. Okay. That's one. One down, two to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, one thing you gotta be careful, if you put it too tight, you can split your board too. Okay. There, now we got two. All right. So, Tell me about some of the other products that you projects that you have on the um, on your channel. Uh, well, my, my latest one, which is my uh, my uh, reverse hyper. Okay. I made for well, I made it was all stuff I had laying around, but if somebody were to purchase everything, it would be less than twenty bucks for a nice. reverse hyper. Nice. Okay. Hyper. Okay. And, well, that, what I did different than everybody else that I find very neat is that I used a door hinge. Hmm. Instead of doing like complicated bearings and pipe, because pipe's expensive. Metal pipe is expensive. It is, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the last one in. Try 
try a little bit of ABS glue on that one. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious about to see. Uh, curious to see. I just want to see if it glides in better. Yeah. You know what I mean? Another thing we used to do is bevel the edges of the pipe itself. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that's a good idea because I've been beveling. That's what I'm using the file. I bevel yeah. the counter bevel, I guess. I like the idea of the lubricant going in, and I mean, it's not going to hurt it once it dries. It's just yeah. So. And it might help because, like I said, wood expands when it gets wet. So if for some reason there's moisture in the air and the wood does expand, there's a little bit filler, a filler to help yeah. keep that space nice and tight. If anything, it's not going to hurt it. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it goes in much easier. Yeah. There you yeah, go. slides right in. Yeah. Awesome. So if you, not a requirement, but if you do have it, or even wood glue, anything, yeah. it'll just, it'll make it go in easier, right? Yeah. Yeah, see, it actually flew right past. So. Okay, so I'm just gonna mount this real quick. We're done. Oh wow, that's okay. it. So how are you gonna? What are you gonna hang it to the wall with? Just wood screws. Okay. So it's long enough. Most uh, most joists are 16 inches apart, right? Yeah. And this is 28 inches, so I should be able to get it into two studs into the okay. wall. I'm just going to put, you know, three wood screws per stud. Okay. And that'll, that'll, that'll hold it. So. And that's ready to go, except for, I mean, even the side that you glued, the glue's not going to take that long to dry. So um, that's ready to go no. as soon as you get done with this. You can just glue it, uh, screw it to the wall, and it's ready to go. Yeah. Nice. I'm going to paint it black. But uh, I'm gonna put it on the wall right now just to show you. Yeah, let's check it out. I wanna, I wanna see it. Okay, so. I'm just putting it up temporarily anyways. I'm gonna take it off to paint it after. Right. So. All right. How many plates would you say you could hold on there? Well, I measured it out for four. Okay. Just test it out. I mean, if it if it falls, I'll probably put more uh, pipe glue or gorilla glue. Yeah. But I don't think it will. Oh yeah, that looks good. That's forty pounds right there. Yeah. Anyway. Good deal. Thirty-five. That's a 25 pound plate right there. Yeah, it sagged a little bit, but it's it's holding it up. It's like 90 pounds. What? I said it sagged a little bit, but it's holding it. Looks like a yeah. win to me. Yeah. And I mean, most plate racks, I might even cut it a bit shorter because I it's just for for my uh, my cable system anyways. So yeah, I'm not gonna put. This is the heaviest that I'll put on there. Okay. Yeah. Well, man, I really appreciate you taking time to. Uh, you know, do a little bit of building with me on a Saturday morning. That was um, fun. Yeah, so tell everybody, I'm going to link all this stuff in the description and uh, also in the end screen, we'll put a link to your channel as well. But go ahead and tell people where they can find you on Instagram, which is where I uh, first sparked the conversation with you. Um, so on Instagram, your YouTube, you know, wherever you want people to be able to reach out to you. Uh, yeah, you can find me on Instagram. That's where I spend most of my time at Barbell Sanctuary. Um, my YouTube channel, channel at Barbell Sanctuary. I'm on Twitter as well, and that's at Barbell Sanctuary, but only one L in Barbell because I didn't have enough characters for the full name. And Facebook, you can find me on Facebook, Barbell Sanctuary once again. And I'm all about uh, garage gyms and building your own sanctuary. That's, that's where I got the name. For me, it's uh, for my mind and body. It's not just a, a physical thing. I come here and it, it really clears up my mind, helped with my depression, anxiety, and all that stuff. So to me, a home gym is very important. Awesome. Well, I hope you guys learned a lot and enjoyed this. Uh, this was sort of an experiment, so I hope you guys enjoy watching this. If you did like it, please share it with your friends. Click like, of course, and don't forget to subscribe. You guys have a good day.